Hi, today we are talking about scooter sharing. If you have some plans about coming into such a business, you should definitely watch this video to the end and follow our channel for more information. More and more people across the world are now relying on innovating and in IoT technologies to make their life simpler and faster. The e-vehicle sharing applications coming on top of the downloading charts is a result of this process. Electric scooters have numerous benefits that include eco friendliness, reduced traffic congestion and affordability the statistics show that the e-scooter market is expanding over the years so the investment into e-scooter app development can be a great decision that will pay off soon enough now let's dive deep into the process of creating such an application for an electric scooter renting and making it successful What is an e-scooter app? E-scooter app is most often an IoT solution that allows sharing small electric vehicles. You may have seen different applications in the places where you live. Despite minor differences, these apps have similar work principles. The user needs to sign in and choose a payment method. They will see a map that shows the available scooter's location near them. An app will unlock an e-scooter after the user scan the QR code. Most often, the application calculate the total sum when the user finishes the ride the paycheck will depend on the right time after the payment is due the e-scooter locks again after someone else comes to pick it up from the spot this business is mostly automated this is why a lot of startups and business owners find it attractive you don't need to control e-scooter's movement, payments or anything else. E-scooter app does it all for you. And when it comes to the popularity of such solutions, it is important to know that Burst Startup is considered the first e-scooter unicorn and has about $2 billion valuation. If you are going to start your own e-scooter startup, you should think of the features your e-scooter app will have before the development process starts. So let's look at the most essential functions functions of such applications. The most needed features to look for in e-scooter app development. Let's start with the basics. E-scooter needs to have at least two payment methods, so it would be accessible for as many people as possible. However, there is more to uncover. GPS. E-scooter app needs real-time GPS tracking to ensure that the users see nearby vehicles and can locate the nearest one. This is essential since the whole point of such applications is comfort and time saying, so nobody would want to use a longer route to reach the e-scooter. QR scanner. This one your clients will need in order to unlock the e-scooters. E-scooters must be marked with a special QR code, which will unlock the vehicle after after the app scans it. The locking with the feature is also possible. Smart lock. So, if the previous feature allows unlocking the e-scooter in the app, this one allows to lock it. The feature allows your client to lock the e-scooter at the point of their destination, so then the other customer can take the vehicle from the point. This makes the app more comfortable to use. Now, let's take an example from the best of the best and take a look at the additional feature that famous startups have implemented into their e-scooter apps during the development. Secure payment getaway integration is used in most of the successful e-scooters apps. It's possible to integrate the safest payment getaways like PayPal or Secure Pay during the development. This can upskill a customer's trust towards your startup and secure the end customer payment. Booking of an e-scooter is a feature available in Goat, an app from Austin. It allows the customer to reserve an e-scooter from an app for up to 5 minutes in advance. This might be really useful if your customer sees a vehicle and has to walk a few minutes to get it. So don't disregard this feature during the development. Adding social media accounts in an e-scooter app can work as good marketing development solution. Your end user can show everyone that they use your solution and you will get an unexpected shout out. Meanwhile, your user can have additional bonuses from it like small discounts. This feature is used in the Skip app from San Francisco. 
The feedback form will help you learn what your users actually think of the e-scooter app and what idea they have to improve it. There are also some of the hardware features that you have to consider like anti-thieved alarm, battery and distance matter maintenance sensor and others. This will not only improve the quality of an app and customer experience but will make your business truly automated. Now when we'll all set with the features to use in the development, let's take a look at the actual development process for an e-scooter app. E-scooter app development process. You should always start with the hardware. Ensure that you all set with this and then start the e-scooter app development. Here are some of the steps that you will have to take if you'd work with Dragsoft. Design. User-friendly and intuitive design is essential for an e-scooter app development. You should consider minimalistic design ideas or use something interactive to make users come back more than once. Design should catch an eye and you might even consider started with the application prototype. Front-end development. Every feature on the surface of an app is what front-end developers are for. Make sure that your e-scooter application works smoothly and doesn't free then people will use it more often. Backend development is also one of the most important steps. You should check twice for third-party services like payment methods, GPS and others to be secure. This may upskill the customer experience users get from your e-scooter app, so we pay special attention to it during the development. Testing. It speaks for itself. Our QA engineers will check an app for all the bugs and eliminate every single one of them. Creating a device API. This one is for IOT developers' hands. It ensures that the e-scooter application correctly connects with the hardware and everything works as intended. As you may guess, it's also one of the most important things in e-scooter app development. Everything in our e-scooter app development process can carefully calculated to deliver the best result to our customers. This is why we also tend to choose the best technologies for our development. E-scooter app development technologies. Here are the technologies that we prefer to use in our e-scooter app development. Flutter allows creating cross-platform applications that look and work as well as the native ones. Flutter also speeds up the development since allows to use all the same code best for iOS and Android apps. It's the third most loved technology. Node.js it's perfect for real-time applications and makes the IOT apps more efficient. Allows you to speed the development up and don't experience quality losses. E-scooter app development cost. First, let's take a look at how much time the e-scooter app development consumes on the C20, for example. Design. 80 hours. App development. 360 hours. Backend development. App API. 280 hours, Super Admin CMS 140 hours, Device API 160 hours. So our specialist worked on C24 eScooter app development for 1020 hours in total. Let's take it as an average sum of hours and assume that you ordered a development from the US $75 per hour and Ukraine $40 per hour. The eScooter app development from the US will cost you around a $76. $6,800 when the offshore development from Ukraine will take only $40,800. E-scooter app development example C24. We've already mentioned this project above. It's a Ukrainian e-scooter application that's present in the biggest cities like Kyiv and Kharkiv. We've developed this application to support eco-friendly vehicles and new idea that spread across the world. This application has all the essential features works on both iOS and Android. And we developed an advertising website for it as well. One of the biggest challenges was to create an admin panel, so we advise you to pay special attention to it in your e-scooter app development. You can read more about it in our case study. An e-scooter app might be an extremely proficient business idea. So, if you are looking to begin your own startup, take a closer look at this niche. It's young and more than ready for your app to shift the grounds. Hope this video was useful and interesting for you. Follow our YouTube channel and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye!